Okay, let's put on the music. Da 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 da. Death metal. Death metal, not the genre. Okay, um. No, I almost said No More Heroes 3 instinctively. More Lollipop Chainsaw. Maybe we'll finish it tonight. I think we're pretty close to the end. I think there's like a couple more bosses. Um. Yeah, the, the audio went out like immediately. So we're just gonna have music. We just don't get, we don't get to play this game with audio basically. It's what's going on. I, f I finally accepted this. Waiting, uh, hey Fak, waiting for the stream to start made me realize it's a bit weird that Juliet's cheerleading outfit requires a belt. Oh yeah. Is that something that skirts even do? Oh god, the game is gonna... I forgot I need to do my tricks of the trade. So much tinkering around that I had to figure out myself for the most part. Open it with OpenGL, then switch to Vulcan to make the game playable. Threads to one. Okay, now the game can run. <laughs> so much tricks. Yeah, that's a great point. When has like a skirt ever required a belt? I guess it's literally just for fashion. Oh, it's for it's for Nick. It's the belt is just for her to like hang stuff off of. I guess that's the only explanation. Oh, I was a robot during the settings change. All right, well, that just shows how ridiculous this game is. Okay, so yeah, we, we don't get sound for this, unfortunately. Also, I have to refight this boss because the game crashed at the end of the boss cutscene. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. I forget you have to mash. Oh god, I apparently didn't mash enough. Okay. Sweet, we got a lollipop. Do I need it? Yes. Ooh, oh, okay. It kind of feels weird going from No More Heroes 3, which is in a way kind of, kind of Suda's like biggest Uh, most ambitious game, I guess you could say, in a way, like in terms of the scope of it and stuff. I really, really, really liked it. It's going to take me a while before I can place it in my head of where, you know, on my top Suda games, but I really, really like it. And then we have Come to Lollipop Chainsaw, which isn't a bad game, but, you know, it's, it's not in my top favorite Suda stuff. Um, I think it's funny because I assumed that the gameplay was gonna be the thing that I was gonna be the most like, oh, I get it, okay, this is very accessible. And I thought it was the writing and the story and like the, I don't know, just all that stuff that wasn't gonna be as interesting to me. I already forgot how this damn thing plays, all right. But it's kind of the opposite. I think like the bosses and the concept and character and dialogue is actually better than I expected. And it's actually the gameplay, which isn't like bad, but it's, I swear I had a lot more ammo last time. Oops. Um, I tried to dash like you would in No More Heroes 3. And it's the gameplay that I'm not so used, to, like it doesn't feel great to me. And it could just be because I don't get it. I already forgot how to play. I, I've been playing too much of Number Heroes 3. Um, I I definitely had way more ammo before the game crashed. So I don't know why I have no ammo, because you need ammo to fight this guy, as far as I can tell. So I kind of got screwed over there. I guess here now we can beat him up. Nope, okay, I guess not. This dude's name's Josie, like Josie and the Pussycats. Ow. 
Uh, Fax said, this, yeah, scope of it's pretty wild. Outside of the open world returning, you've got all the different visual styles and gameplay styles. Yeah. I, do, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to fight this guy without shooting him, because I definitely shot him before a bunch of times. I guess I could just... Should I do a Nick thing? Let's see, maybe a Nick thing is what I want to do. What does that do? You're sexy, Nick. Well, that's a nice compliment. He's so happy. Oh, perfect! Projectile, that's what we needed. Oh, it doesn't affect the boss, does it? This is worthless right now, isn't it? Oh, great. Man. Oh. We'll try this thing. See what this does. Um, but what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, get closer. This would probably do a lot of damage if I was closer. If I was closer a little bit. There we go. We did one hit. There's two hits. Man. Well. Man. This ain't going the greatest, is it? it w once I get to another phase, he actually makes it where you can get more ammo. But right now, I'm just kind of... I do not get what you're supposed to do if you don't have bullets. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Nick's got that winning smile, and by winning I mean slightly creepy. Yeah, that, that smile he gets when Juliet, like, kisses him is, is pretty, uh, goofy. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't coming up before, but now, check this out. There's gonna be ammo up here. I remember this part. I'm gonna get all the freaking ammo. Now that I know we're not going to get any ammo otherwise. You may recognize this music, by the way. I p Since we, we're going to need music for a while, I put on a longer video than usual. Oh, the, the bullets keep respawning too, that's nice. Alright. Here, I'll start shooting him. God. Oh god. I know there's a way to lock on, but I forgot how. Oh, you probably can't shoot him from below. That's like the whole point of the stairs. Okay, the reason why I'm walking forward is because on this controller, if you hit R2, sometimes it thinks you're pressing up on the left joystick. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I'm, I'm not, I swear I'm not that dumb. I swear it's the controller. Oh, but he fell down, that's good. Yep, it's the No More Heroes trailer music, which they also use for the, the credits music which made gave it a really like sentimental feeling considering you know it's supposed to be the last wait is it hello what was that like simon says i i don't i'm not sure if one of the buttons flashed or if i wasn't paying attention i feel like they flashed but it was very subtle like they really should have made the flash a lot different also, hey, Christmas Elf. I didn't even realize you were the one who, uh... Who said that, because i just kind of been glancing over while I'm fighting this guy. Yeah, using that as the credit music was a smart idea. It gave you some big feels. Why does he just have girls chilling on his UFO, dude? I don't know. He fell down. I'm just gonna shoot him. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. I think you need to get one last hit on him though. Yep. Oh god. There we go.
So yeah, I, I put the whole No More Heroes 3 soundtrack. Because like I said, we're, we're going to need a lot of music for this game. Because I'm not going to reboot this for the sound. It took legit, it took like 20 minutes to boot this game up. Because the same thing was hap happening with Shadows of the Damned where the farther you got in the game, the more pre-loaded like shaders had to, to load in for whatever reason. To boot up or whatever, I don't know. And, um... In Shadows of the Damned, it was a much more reasonable amount of additional load time. In this game, it's just been crazy. And I don't know if that goes to say that Shadows of the Damned was like more efficiently programmed, or if this game just has way more shaders than Shadows of the Damned, which I wouldn't think so. Like, they, it doesn't seem like it's that much, you know, crazier but yeah so it is not worth rebooting when we know the audio is probably going to cut out quickly anyways so screw it we're just going to play music so unfortunately i had to fight this guy again but at least it's not taking too long i know once i got past that first phase Oh, I recognize this. This is a Black Hole, Mr. Black Hole's music. Mr. Black Hole, please tell me why you had to go away for so long, so long. There we go. <laughs> He's all screaming like, no, stop, don't do this. This game does seem to do more as far as unique level to level assets. You're probably right. Shadows of the Dam probably does have a bit more of the same, they, they do probably reuse assets. I'm gonna skip this because it killed the game last time and I'd rather save, make sure it saves. Hey, we got a B rank, that's not too bad. I still like that the Nick head has a little tie. It's funny that MP3s is a reward in this game when we can't hear the audio most of the time. Okay, so from what I know, it's this level and then one final thing. I don't think the cutscene is even that powerful fag. I think it's just RC PS3 or whatever this is called. Evil at the Unfinished Cathedral. Because it was like at the very end of the cutscene. Like the cutscene was over and it crashed pretty much. But yeah, we'll probably finish this today because I think there's like less than two hours of game left. And I don't plan on reloading this. So even. I mean, the audio is gone. It's just gone. <laughs> So it's too bad, maybe one day I'll get to play this. Boy, we could Weston messing around. What, me? He's distracting me, Dad. <laughs> All right, duty your girl's fine work. Oh, the whole family's here. Seems there's only one of these dark purveyors left. Oh, I don't think the mom's here, but most of the family. Juliet, you attack from the front. I'll take out the bastards from here. Cordelia, you head this way and Rosalind here. This is cool, they're all working together. Should be able to find this last bastard. Got it? Yes, daddy. Yep. Rosalind? Oh! I'm not an it. I gave it a makeover. My god. What does that mean? Um... I'm slowing you down, leave me in the trash can, or in a mailbox or something. Why doesn't he want to go on? You just think it looks cool to have a boyfriend who's a decapitated head. What about what I want? But what if the zombies find you? They love human face. It's their favorite part. It's the risk I'm willing to take. So not only is he just a head, he got a, an unwanted makeover. No. 
You can't just take me if I don't want to. Yes, I can. <gasps> because I love you so much. Juliet. You have to respect his wishes as a head. He still at least has like 20% of his human rights. Also, hey, Double O. The nuns from the movie Blues Brothers. Ooh, the moon. See, they, they only snuck in a sliver of the moon because that's how much of a pseudo game this is. A full pseudo game would have a full moon. See, that's actually a, a purposeful choice there. Uh, also, hey, Dongo, welcome. See if I remember how to play. Kind of. You know what? I should break this thing. And then I can cut a bunch in a row. There we go. I keep thinking that the coins you get on that screen are championship belts at first, but they're not. Is the silver moon thing true or are we being memed on? Uh, what do you mean by the silver moon thing? Because uh, full moons and the color silver, coincidentally, are both actually very significant recurring things in pseudo games. So I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Oh, they want us to blow this up. Oh, the sliver moon thing. Oh, I just made that up. But I think it, it is kind of uh, fitting. Because this is... Because, I mean, I've ranted about this enough. But Lollipop Chainsaw isn't... I wouldn't consider... Everyone calls this a Suda game. But he didn't have nearly as much to do with this as what I would call Suda games. Like, he wasn't the main writer. He wasn't the director. Like, he had very little input on this compared to... Killer 7 or No More Heroes or The Silver Case. Similar thing, he is like a head writer on Killer, as Killer is Dead. So you could say he, he maybe had a bit more input on that, but uh, he didn't direct it. Oh, this is the sushi music, isn't it? I'm surprised the menus are running so well. I probably shouldn't have jinxed it, but... Anti-zombie grappling technique. Butt attack. One of those zombies with Juliet's butt. We have just enough to afford it. Maybe we should get it. The funny thing is, this is literally like a wrestling move. Screw it. Let's see if it stuns them. Oh, there it goes. I forget the uh, the wrestling term for that, the the what they usually call that in wrestling. Sniper. She looks familiar. Something about like her, the way she dresses and her haircut. It makes me think of a character, but I can't think of who. Help! I'm being kidnapped. I'll cover you till I'm out of ammo. Okay, next chance we get, I'm gonna try to, uh... Oh, let's try it here. Oh, I missed. Boom! Oh, it makes him groggy immediately! That was a great one! That was actually a great choice. Because then you can just instantly finish them. That's awesome. I was legit looking for a move that would stun the enemies more quickly. Rapping Itadakimas is pretty hilarious. True. Itadakimas. I still need to listen to the No More Heroes 3 soundtrack like more closely since I was so focused on streaming and I, I didn't have the volume turned up super high while I play usually. Because I'm a dummy. I'm like the one streamer slash let's play or whatever that plays with speakers instead of headphones because I'm a, I'm a dingus.
I just, I know it's weird, but I swear that when I am have headphones on and I'm streaming, it makes it even harder to like focus. Like it just makes me feel like claustrophobic or something. Or, I don't know how to explain it. Rikishi? Yeah, Rikishi did that, didn't he? All right, right, right. So would this be the gold Joe battle? Okay, if there's no enemies here, I wonder if I could just blow this up. Oh. Okay, no, okay. It's a good thing we didn't blow, blow it up because now we can. We'll, we'll drag them over here. Not drag them, but we will uh, lead them over here if we, if we can. Come, come, uh, get out of the way. Okay, this ain't working as well as I hope. And get closer. Are they dead? How'd they die? Okay. There was a bunch of zombies here and they're dead now. Were they like in like a nightgown? What were you we doing wearing a nightgown in a place like this? That guy's just been standing there. These guys are... Wow, the freaking, like no joke, the butt attack is amazing. <laughs> this is like speedrun strat suddenly. All right, now we can escape. Sister's just as crazy as the zombies. Oh my god, she really is. More bullets, that's good. I've been trying to build up these bullets. Uh, Where am I going now? I don't want to shoot that because it's... Oh! Well... There you are. I need to remember to use my butt attack. It's just too pow- Ow! Did she do that? Did my own sister just snipe me? Uh oh, I tried to activate a lollipop and the game didn't like that. Um. Yeah, you know what? Oh, the freaking um, volume is going crazy. Let me get rid of that. How does the this freaking emulator destroy my volume uh, switch? Out of everything, like, like, geez, what is this thing doing to my computer? She just shot me. You know, people t like to crap on Zelda for not having very good aim in the Z in the Zelda series when she has like shoot arrows, but uh, man, my own sister's been hitting me, I think, quite a bit. At least Zelda never hits Link, as far as I can recall. Meet you on the other side of the building. Oh no, I think that's the guy, Fack. Remember I showed you that screenshot before I started streaming? I think that's the guy. Stay away from him! He's gonna turn into a stronger zombie. Ooh, golden lollipop. Dude, don't run over where I can't protect you, dummy. Wait, what am I doing? I should be doing my butt attack. I missed. I missed again. Oh my god, we need... Oh, he's actually running away. That's smart. Ow. Oh, 
Okay, but attack's not working as well on this guy, so I'm just gonna finish him normally. Is he gone or we're not gonna see him say the thing? Everyone pay attention to this, it's really dumb and horrible. Wait, I think he got away. Yep, he said it. And he, he, he got dusted for it, as he deserves. Hey, we got a Nick ticket. It's good because I kind of wanted to buy one, but I didn't have enough money after I bought that move. Whoa! You throw like a girl? Who said that? That's the one thing is we, we don't always know who's talking because of the uh, no volume. So we have to kind of guess. I feel like literally anyone right now could have said that. Maybe the older sister, she seems to be talking a lot. Oh, we, we butt smashed two of them at once. To legless zombies. Okay. We also have a super mode in case we need to. Feces are all in my pants. Hmm. That's chill. Oh, there, look! We're actually near each other now. I recognize this. Oh, is this when you're like using the power up machine? Or, or you're in the lab. I think this is just the lab music in general. Ow. Oops. Yeah, you, you, you have fun doing that. Man, I need to learn how to lock on. Is it R1? No, R1 is to dash. Oh, R2 activates the super. God damn it. Well, that's a waste. That's a horrible waste. Well, I need at least another one just popped up suddenly. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well at least we gotta kill a couple more. What was the name of the little robot from the Power Rangers? Alpha? Right, didn't he go, ay ay ay? Was Alpha like Hispanic? I never really thought about that till right now. Why, did, why does Alpha say that? <laughs> Ow. That might not be his name. Like, I haven't seen Power Rangers in a very long time, and I also... Alpha 5, okay. But I also, like, wasn't, like, a big Power Rangers kid. I had, like, a VHS tape of the movie with the goop. And then I had a VHS tape that had, like, like, I don't know, one specific episode on it, probably. And that was, like, most of my Power Rangers at a very young age. Like, I didn't specifically watch it on TV a bunch. When I was very little, it was all VHS tapes. We didn't actually have like proper TV until I was like 
in, I think in like second grade or second or third grade, I think we, we got like TV with like cable where we would actually like watch stuff and my mind was blown. My, Cause I, before that, I remember like in my grandpa's house, I would watch TV like in the mornings on like Saturday, very early in the mornings, they'd have cartoons. And I was like, yay, cartoon time. And other than that, it was all VHS tapes. And then when we finally got cable and I found Cartoon Network and it was like, wait a minute, there's a channel that plays cartoons 24 seven. Like my mind was blown. I couldn't believe it. So I always like, I was always a Cartoon Network kid. I love Cartoon Network. Like I would watch Nickelodeon and, and like Disney tunes sometimes, but like Cartoon Network was, was like my favorite. And it's weird because Cartoon Network always felt like it was the... Like there were definitely enough kids who watched it, but Cartoon Network always felt like it wasn't like the casual channel. Like most of the kids for sure would watch Nick and Disney, but a lot of them wouldn't watch Cartoon Network. Sorry, so Alpha 5. What city were the Power Rangers in? Oh, Angel Grove, right? And Mighty Morphin. Located in the great state of Japanifornia. If they were in LA, it makes sense they had a Mexican robot. You know what? That might, you might have a point there. What, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, kill those robots? Oh, I was just waiting for them. Japan loves Mexican culture. I don't, do they? I know this is just one specific example, but the one type of food that I tried in Japan that didn't really seem to have much representation was Mexican food. Like, I mean, Japanese food obviously in Japan, but like they, Japan had great burgers uh, I had some Italian food in Japan that was excellent. Um, what else? I had some um, Korean barbecue was delicious. All like all these different kinds of foods were so good. And then there was like this one little Mexican place I found in Japan and I was like, you know what? I have plenty of great Mexican food where I live, but I I'm curious to see how this is. They served me my food this was not lab listed on the, the, the entree. They served me my food with a side dish of Cheetos. I was, <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> and you know what, there probably are good, I'm sure there's gotta be some good Mexican places in Japan, but I'm just guessing that generally it's not that represented. And that's okay, you know, not every place is gonna have every type of food. But I was like, oh my God, they just gave me Cheetos with my my uh, tacos or burrito or whatever, it, I, I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, yeah. I need to be more careful, my health's getting kind of low. Uh, did you ever get big into the Power Rangers as a kid, Jay? Need to find someone else I can bully into playing the fighting game with. In fact, I just explained my my involvement with Power Rangers. Were you you were maybe AFK? Uh, well, I'll just repeat it again. I basically I had the Goop movie, I had the purple Goop movie on VHS tape, and I had like one Power Rangers VHS tape that had maybe like an episode on it, and that was most of it. I didn't really watch it on TV growing up or anything and and we didn't really by the time we actually got like proper TV to watch because I grew up mostly on just a box of VHS tapes like when I was really really little but in the middle of elementary school age we finally got cable and I got attached to Cartoon Network before anything I have a booty bump attack what am I doing I need to be using that more
There we go. That's better. Ow, that's not better. Oh, where did I get all these lollipops from? Uh, I seen a documentary on Little Mexico in Japan. They seem to love the Mexican cholo aspect of the culture. Really? I mean, that's a little weird. If that's <laughs> something they're gonna pull out of it. Um. Oh, no, like I said, I'm sure there are places in Japan that have good, like, Mexican stuff, but it seems like overall it's not a super represented thing. Like, you could find a million great burger places in Japan, and I'm sure, and it seemed like you could find a many great, like, Italian places, but it, Mexican places were hard to come by, and when I did try, it was, it was a bizarre experience, to say the least. It's the booty bump attack. I mean, what else can you call it? It's the most accurate name. I heard you say that. I didn't know you meant it was your only involvement. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I remember liking what I what I saw, Fak. I, I probably watched that tape over and over again. But I just didn't really... You know, I never got super into watching the actual show. I think the specific episode I had, it like focused on how the Green Ranger used to be. Or, or no, no, I, it just showed the Green Ranger off and I was like, wow, why is there an evil Ranger? That's interesting. He's like the cool bad guy Ranger. And I just remember it showed like the Green Ranger like in a room, just like punching things, like training or showing off or something. I think that was the episode I had if you have any idea what I'm talking about. And I remember the two bullies. I forget their names, the two bullies. Um, they got covered in like pink, like it must have been like a strawberry milkshake or something. I just, I, re I have that vision in my head of the two bullies getting milkshake all over them. And I just remember thinking, mmm, milkshake. Cause I'm, I'm just, I, I've been a, a little fatty since I was little. I see food in things and I'm like, Oh, that looks good. The most hilarious parts of that were when it would cut to Tommy being an evil high schooler. Okay. Bulk and Skull, there you go. It's like they tried to be bullies, but they were too... Like, how could you take them seriously? Right? Oh, Christmas Elf remembers that. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh my god, that's expensive. I wish we could make ourselves stronger. Oh, it's the last strength upgrade, that's why. Well, let's give ourselves some more health, in any case. Oh my god, that looks um, that looks so gourmet. Look at that. Donkey fruit crepe. I don't have a whole lot of experience with crepes to begin with, but that one looks freaking amazing. Hey, Rockman Sam, welcome. The bulk and skull theme. Oh, I have to listen to that fact. I have to see if 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 it if if it triggers a memory in my brain from my childhood. We have to find that specific episode I saw when I was a kid. I don't remember anything about it besides those things. It's funny, you think I would remember like whatever the creature was they were battling. Oh, this is like Fu's theme when he shows up. These are my buds. I met them while I was in the hole. Yep, right there. I'm a goddamn superhero. This had a very good uh, soundtrack. Alright, so, uh, Lollyocopter. Press tr triangle plus square during a chainsaw dash. Ooh. I'll have to try that out. The adult looking Power Rangers we were like in high school. As a kid, you can't tell the difference. Anyone who's not like a kid just looks like an adult to you. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh my God, we're gonna, we're gonna, we definitely gotta try that out. In 20 years, I will return. Exactly, Dongu. I will return, no matter what. 
Okay, why is it like making me stand here? <laughs> that was weird. Surely there has to be some Power Rangers extended media or something where Bulk and Skull got to be Power Rangers for a bit. There's gotta be a comic where that happens. I remember as a kid, Fak, really liking it when characters who normally aren't involved with like fighting bad guys because they're not special could get involved. And it's always just the tiniest taste of it. And they never really got too involved. I always, as a kid, wished that they got more involved. Because I always thought that was a really cool idea. In one of the Power Rangers iterations, Alpha was voiced by Richard Horvitz. Who's just using his Chaos Skylander voice. That voice actor sounds familiar, but I don't know Chaos Skylander. August St. John was the only actor who was of high school age. I believe he was 18 in the show's first season. Damn. I like that they named the Blue Ranger after Brian Cranston. That's really cool. Because they call him Billy Cranston, I think. And because Brian Cranston did like a lot of voices for like the monsters. Well, I don't know if he did a lot, but I think he did at least like a few. Oh, Invincibility Star. Hell yeah, give me that. There we go. Wait, is that not what the star does? I guess I forgot what the star does. Oh, great. Well, this ought to do something good. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it just downs them, though. That's not the best thing in the world. What? Oh, the the younger sister is using the wrecking ball, right? That's what's going on there. Sorry, I have. It's tricky since I'm. Uh, there's no audio. Did the music stop? What's going on here? Does something get copyrighted on this video? Oh, the freaking page like crashed and had to be reloaded. That's weird. I guess I was tabbed out for too long. There we go. Oh, Invader Zim, Billy, Rasputin. Yeah, okay, there you go. That's. I thought that might be who it was, but the fact that you used Chaos Skylander as the example <laughs> threw me off, because I do not know who that is. He also does he also does Billy's dad's voice in Billy and Mandy. Which is kind of obvious if you listen for the like the like in, in, intonations of like how he, he talks. Boys hate me. Er Raw Ro Rosalina's pretty amazing. She went from like not being well not being able to get her driver's license to then being able to Pilot a wrecking ball. I don't know what it wants for me here because none of the buttons are working. I'll go more obscure. Iron Man, uh, Conchome, Invincible Conchome. I think this is a glitch. I think it wants me to hop on their heads, but it's not giving me the command to hop on their heads. And this is gonna suck because rebooting takes quite a while. It has to be a glitch. Oh, is that a Zatch Bell character? Yeah, Fak and me were just randomly talking about Zatch Bell earlier. I haven't seen it in so long that I don't remember like the characters' names or anything. And I never like watched the show religiously either. It was just kind of here and there I would catch it. Oh, that's the duck, okay. I didn't realize he had an invincible mode, an Iron Man mode. Yeah, I don't know what to do here, guys. I think it's supposed to be giving me a command, but it's not giving me the command, and I can't pause even. This is uh, unfortunate. We'll have to reload at the last checkpoint. I mean, I'm trying every button. Let me, let me make sure the controller didn't get disconnected or something. That's also possible. 
Nope, controller is showing up fine in here. So I am. Um, I think I have to reload. Oh, that's just horrible. Pause and then play again. Let fix it. Oh, it flashed for a second. Come on, man. Come on. Damn it. Oh, restart. I never noticed there's a restart option. If we restart it, does that mean we don't have to reload everything again? Let's see. Please tell me it's making it not have to reload everything. Oh, but I should have had to change back to open OpenGL. I forgot about that. Oh wait, it's not crashing this time. Well, no, I think with Vulcan it would load up everything and then it would crash before it completely opened. So, we'll see. I'll let this one load bar finish. If it doesn't finish, I'll change it. Maybe, maybe Vulcan will work this time. I think that's an, you know what? That's probably another reason why it's taking so long to boot up because it's forcing me to boot up with an inferior, uh, setting. Oh, Donga, are you still playing No More Heroes 3? I know, I remember you said you were, you had started playing it the other day. You know, I'll, I'll add some more music to this playlist while we're waiting at least because this is actually going to run out in about 20 minutes. I was about to say, oh, I'll add the Lollipop Chainsaw soundtrack, then that would defeat the entire purpose. Okay, um, well, it wouldn't defeat the entire purpose, but it's, it's all copyright music. I'll just add more No More Heroes soundtracks, why not? And I'll... Oh, I can't randomize actually because... If someone has a playlist... Here we go. Someone has a playlist of No More Heroes music. And then I can put it on random. Just queue up a long play in the background and sync it up to where you're at. Perfect. I'm playing Psychonauts 2 instead since I don't know how long it'll be free on Game Pass. Oh, that's fair. I'd love to use Game Pass, Donga, but apparently you need Windows 10. And I do not want to change to Windows, from Windows 7 to Windows 10, so I don't get to use Game Pass. Um, oh, by the way, guys, I thought I was going to be able to rent Psychonauts 2. Turns out I can't because... I read on wiki like, oh, Psychonauts 2 is for PS4. I look it up, I look into it, because Gamefly did not have it as an option. It turns out only people who backed the game at a certain tier got physical copies of the game back in like 2019. So, yeah. It's gonna crap. Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Come on! Nope, I'm dumb. Yeah, Vulcan just doesn't work. I shouldn't have... Hang on. Let's change that. I should have learned my lesson by now. Boom. Restart. Oh, it closed! Yay! Da zip it do da zip it day. My my my, this game won't play. If I get to that part again, 
And it doesn't work, then this is the end. I do pity do I do pity do uh, Fax said, I think it'll be on Game Pass for the foreseeable future, considering Microsoft owns Double Fine. Well, that's sad. Oh, well, it's good for Donga, but it makes me think maybe that's why they're limiting the physical copies. God damn it, release, phys physical release. People will buy that. Even, even No More Heroes 3 had a normal phys wide physical release and I feel like Double Fine and Grasshopper are probably comparable sized companies, right? They're kind of like a step above indie. Look how slow that CPU goes. You know what I could probably do? I heard that you can delete the cache so it doesn't load up things. I'm just worried of if that would cause more problems. Because we're not going to visit revisit those old levels. But who knows if like suddenly we're going to need a bunch of those shaders again from uh, old levels. Try deleting system 32. I don't know. I think I know a little bit better than that. Fact. Good try. Good attempt. We got pretty unlucky because I, I was already like adamant about not rebooting just for, to get the audio back. But then the game was like, oh, we're going to make you reboot, all right. We're gonna make you reboot by giving you a problem you've never encountered before. That's right, baby. Oh, you know what would be a good thing to look out for, Feck? Because we were wondering why is she wearing that belt, and then I said the only reason I could think of is to hold Nick. I wonder if at the start of the game she's not wearing the belt, and then when she gets the Nick head, that's when she has the belt on. That would be a really good touch, actually. And it would completely justify her, her wearing it. So yeah, I wanted to rent Psychonauts 2 next, after No More Heroes 3, but I'm just gonna have to wait. At least I'll have more time to play No More Heroes 3, because there's probably gonna be a little gap where I won't have No More Heroes 3, because the special edition is gonna take a while to come. I should pull out some cutscenes while this is look up. Oh. <laughs> Whoop! Oh well, you know what? We might have audio for a little while at least. It'll probably go away immediately, but we'll see what happens. Yes. Yes. It is I, Terra Strong. Well, it'll take a little bit for me to get back to where I was, though, probably, depending on where the last checkpoint was, so... You should have plenty of time to check that out. Oh, that sound was like teeth... chomping onto a lollipop, wasn't it? Ah, oh, so she is wearing it at the start? Dang. See, now, if Suda was directing this game... Let me tell you. Sorry, Juliet, but the...
Rest is up to you. Thanks, sis. Oh boy. I'm not used to hearing voices. Time to shop. Oh man. What did I buy? I bought the lolliocopter, which I feel like could be good still. So do I still have the the booty bomb? What should I get? Wait, these are purchase things. I don't see the butt attack. Click, click. Where's the butt attack? Oh, there it is. They put it way at the bottom for some reason. Click, click. Oh, you know what I did? I got, I got like an upgrade or something or a couple upgrades. I got the donkey fruit crate. There we go. So I got that. And then I got the lollipopter. There we go. What should I get? All right. And then the stream. What should I get? Crapped out. And then OBS betrayed me, once and for all. Um. Well, you know what? We could take this opportunity to try something else click, instead. Click. Like Chainsaw Paradise. There it is, there it is. Two, three, four, boom. Good against groups. Prepare for massive destruction. Okay, sounds good to me. We're about to fight click, a group. Click. Now okay. I feel the pressure. Now you feel the pressure. <laughs> you know what though? Yeah, we we've said this before, but Nick and Juliet is a surprisingly good uh a surprisingly good duo. For, they, they, they have good duo banter. Oops. You could do a very good Murphy from Sly Cooper impression. That's another game I, I have to still play. Murphy is one of his f partners, right? Is it the hippo? I think there's a hippo and a turtle. I remember just seeing... It's in one of those games where I only ever saw footage on like some G4 show, but I never played it myself. Mexico. Okay, what does the younger sister sound like again? Because I don't remember at all. Hey, Juliet, look what I found. <laughs> oh, oh, she sounds like a teenage girl. Who would have guessed? Listen, I know I'm mad at you now, but you have to be careful. Your sister is more dangerous than the zombies. <laughs> You're not wrong. Watch out! Oh, you meant Bentley. Ouch. Okay, Murray's the hippo, Bentley's the turtle. I'm surprised I remember that. That must have been like a deep, obscure memory. <gasps> Strawberry's my favorite. good one. Oh, I didn't even switch back to Vulcan yet. Oh, whatever. It's running fine right now. Like that thing? Oh, she hit me. It really does. Juliet is surprisingly, um... Your family sure is, uh, exciting. She's surprisingly, like, mature and rational at times. She's just a little... ditzy, I guess. Uh, I want to say it's that much of a mass destruction. That could be... I think the booty bump is still more powerful. Oh, nice. So I'm, I'm trying to think of the PS2 games I need to play, because if I could get a PS2 emulator to work, that would be pretty, pretty awesome. 
There's there's uh, Jack and Daxter. There's Ratchet and Clank. There's Sly Cooper. Um, I know there's more. Whoa, Roslyn, that was pretty amazing. God of War. She did a Fist of the North Star, and then I got hit immediately. You know what? I think I do need to turn it back to Vulcan. That's why there's like the occasional uh, freezing happening. Well, more so than usual. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, hey, that's not on one, though. We'll leave that for now and see how it works she did say the thing she did a omaiwa shinderu no that's different that's more of like I, that's more like i teleported behind you kind of thing isn't it or maybe not i don't know No, that's just a whole different thing, the teleports behind you. Heh, <laughs> nothing personnel, kid. No, that- yeah, that's what I was thinking of. You know what, I'm just gonna shoot you guys. <laughs> Take care of this more easily. Oh yeah, so we got past the part that wasn't working last time, I think I realized. Yeah, that's the nothing personnel, kid. Well, it freaks me out so much, I... Neck fart a little. A That's TMI, Nick. Neat. No, yeah, I need to drop the... One of the CPU threads, like I was thinking. Okay. Boom. Now, it should run smoother than ever. Oh, PS3 emulation has a lot of problems, but it, it's mainly... It, it's... It takes, like, a lot more... Power. It, it takes a lot more powerful of a computer to run than it should warrant, basically. It's, like, not... Like, however the games are ran is, like uses more power than it should, I guess is the best way to explain it. Because I'll, I'll play stuff like RE7, it won't look the best, but it'll run on my computer, and this is just like... so much of an older game, but it's still... the fact that it's PS3... Who's trying to call me right now? I don't recognize that number, so I'm not gonna answer it. Uh, Fax is exponentially more. Great, now all you can hear is my phone. At least we gave him a helmet this time. What? What? We just... We just kicked him into the wall? I mean, Killer is Dead ran perfectly on my computer. And that, and that came out like a year after this, I think. Ow. You're so cute when you're being a buzzkill. That sounds like bias to me, Juliet. But no, yeah, if I had like a way more powerful computer, like mine is like okay. It's like acceptable for this year, I guess. Did 
Did they just loop 20 of her voice clips over each other or am I going insane? Isn't spasmatoid an offensive term? To who? To spasmatoids, like your sister. What the hell just happened? Is it still playing the audio that when you're trying to help her, but there's no music playing? We've seen a lot of really interesting stuff today. Quit trying to turn it into something positive. This is a living Oh, okay. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Oh my god, we need to, when we go back to that area, they just start playing all the random clips on top of each other. Oh, but Fax said, wait, did you em No, no, no. I didn't emulate Killer is Dead. I was just kind of making the point of how busted the emulation is. Because I played Killer is Dead on Steam, and it ran perfectly fine. And then I try to emulate this, and it's a game that came out around the same time, and it's just barely runs. So that just kind of shows you right there. Um, I still don't know what homing is, is exactly. Click, click. Maybe if I bought one, I'd be able to tell. I don't know. What should I get? Yeah, I was like stepping on audio triggers or something. If I go back to that area, it'll probably happen again. What should I get? Zombie grab. Maybe I should save up for some really cool stuff. Let's go. Let's see if I. If you I go have back to admit, up. Nick, we've seen a lot of really interesting stuff today. Quit trying to turn it into something positive. This is a living nightmare. Okay, let's go oh, out there. You're so cute when you're being a buzzkill. Nope. Okay. Get some more ammo, though. Oh, we're full on ammo. No, I think it stopped now. Thankfully. I, I don't remember what the stars do. Were those checkpoints all this time? Is that the limit? A thousand pounds? Not a pounds, kilograms. Even though this is based in the US. Or do we use kilograms in certain instances? I guess we would, huh? I don't know. I'm not a weight expert. The audio's gone. Oh, no it's not. I really thought it was gone. She's gonna make a I'm not fat joke. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't do like a joke saying like, Nick, are you saying I'm fat? Because that's something that they've done. I guess it would make sense to take out the big zombies first, huh? Because they would weigh the most. Ow. Uh-oh, danger. Okay. We do, often in industrial settings like this. Okay. Well, good thing the living fact is here. Just at birth, like, your parents looked at you and they were like, Yep. Our boy's a living f FAQ. I can just tell by the look in his eyes. Ow. Can you die? Please. You not screw this. Oh my god, this part's... Oh, four in a row. There's a magical for 50 cents. That's nice. Oh, I ran out. Thought I had my butt booty bump charged. Apparently not. There we go. 
Oh no. Wait, did we fail? Ah, we're falling! Ugh, I got us! Yay! Yay might be pushing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess that was supposed to happen. Oh, they actually left a voicemail? Maybe this isn't a spam call, let's see. Whoa, Probably is though. Check out that cathedral! It's beautiful! Yeah, the aesthetics of my surroundings are so interesting to me right now. I know! Oh, this is- Okay, there's a message from my grandma, and she said she left her laptop charging on the floor in the front room, and can I unplug it? Because she forgot she left it charging. I'm confused because my grandma doesn't have a laptop, and why would you need to unplug something that's charging? I'm confused. Uh, yeah, so I don't think that's actually urgent. Like, I need to unplug the laptop? Is it gonna explode? But then also she doesn't have a laptop, so what is she talking about? So she must have called using someone's cell phone or something, because I did not recognize that number. It's a scam. My grandma's trying to scam me. Ow. That's it, mate. There we go. I am so glad I got that booty bump. That is legit, like, one of the best moves I've, I've, I've gotten in this game. Hey, Mizmo, how's it going? Oh, you know what? I think she does have... I think she, she uses, like my mom's old iPad, now that I think about it, to play like puzzle games and Mahjong. That's probably what she was talking about. I remember when the iPad first came out and it was like this big luxury item. And now my freaking grandma has an iPad. Isn't that crazy? So delicious. Wee! We got a strike. This is where they would put like a collectible. Nope. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Don't mind me. Do you beatbox? Pretty tricky, ain't it? Do you beatbox? I mean, not usually, but could give it a shot. Where's the other beatbox guy up here? Stop walking forward. Stop walking forward. I guess it's L2, then also makes you walk forward sometimes. That's cool. And by cool, I mean that's not cool. <laughs> All right, whatever, I'm just gonna... Oh, there he is. Oh, this is awful. Oh my god, I can't unsee this. It's worse than when I walked in on my parents having sex. Stop dodging! Oh, they always dodge when, when they're, they don't have a beatbox. I mean, when there's someone playing the beatbox. There we go, now there's no more beatbox. I don't know why that specifically the music gives them the ability to dodge better, but it does. Apple makes the world go round. Isn't it weird how there's Apple the record company and then there's Apple the tech company and that, that apparently no one had a problem with that? Usually, you know, you have two companies with the same name, someone's getting in trouble. Like WWF. The World Wrestling Federation, they had to change their name because WWF, the World Wildlife Foundation, 
made them change it because they were there first. A boombox, yeah. You know what I meant. Look. Look! I told you guys that my brain does things sometimes. Once in a while. Hey, lollipop. Cool. Yeah, lollipop. Ow. They're just shooting me? Oh my god. These dudes need to chill. Jesus Christ. Why are they holding, like, air traffic controller sticks? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Jesus. God damn it, how do you lock on? Is it R? No. Is it L? Yes. It's L1. They're gonna freaking kill me. Oh, you know what? Screw this. I'm putting- I'm doing my super mode. Screw it. These guys are annoying as hell. Only people from New York can own a boombox. Okay. Um, they'd be far more deadly if their powers were linked to beatboxing or less. I don't know how good these zombies are at beatboxing. Uh, n is there a block button? I don't think so. No, I don't think there is a block button. Maybe there is and I just completely forgot. That's, that wouldn't be out of the question. Wait, it makes a boink noise when we use our booty bump attack? Hang on. That's funny. I wasn't hearing that before. Maybe because I wasn't locked on and hitting them, I don't know. Now it's just locking on everyone automatically, which is nice. It's just like toggled on or something. Plug the drain. Okay. Really, you're gonna cut it lengthwise? Julia, are you insane? Alright, let's go get that lollipop. That way we can. Oh no, wait. There we go, now we have five. Okay, now we definitely need to use that. Thank God for, thank God for those lollipops. Okay, we plug the drain. Ow. Oh. Rosalind. Oh, it's so, so, so cute. Do you think mommy will let me keep it? I hope so. I love it so much. Wait, never mind. The fucking thing just ran away. Okay. I don't think you should probably own a pet, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> They're the best calories. <laughs> Debatable. There are many good uses of calories. But I guess you want us to know. Oh, the explosives do that much damage, huh? No, if only I had protected you. God damn it! Pet is smart, running away from Rosalind. You see, Jay, cutting at length lets you create a controlled drop. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been to create a path forward. 
That's my BS explanation anyways. Oh, and then we gotta do it again. Great. Well, let's try not to die this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The room's being flooded with zombies. Somehow we need to plug the drain. Yum. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do this. Come on. Please. Please. I have a bad feeling. If it freezes on a part that's, like, been fine before, and my controller just stopped, like, rumbling. Oh, thank God. I was worried there. Uh, how many light pops? Four out of five, okay. So we can grab that one safely. That's what you get for simulating the game. Mismo! My buddy, my pal, if they had simply ported this, I would have gladly paid well, so long as the price was reasonable. So I'm just gonna blow these up in advance. That way, I don't have danger of blowing up. Get away, doggy. You don't wanna Well this freaking crap boss. Boom, there we go. That works Oh, there's one right behind me, that's nice. This dude's just walking away taking his sweet time. Do I need to make the fire go out? Yep. Come on, pal. Come on, buddy. Dude. Really? Is this dude okay? Is he traumatized? Usually these guys are like running. Dude's walking just into zombies slowly. He does not fear. Uh-oh. Are you gonna just drop down this elevator shaft? I never thought I'd be saved by someone with such great tits. Well, I'll see ya, buddy. Okay, he slid down. He has depression. Is Rosalind a uh, psycho? Well, she's a, a hyper 16-year-old girl, so... She's really, really... Uh, She's a little neurotic. Alright, we'll use one then. Yum. Whoa. The final battle. This is heavy. Oh, boss fight, yay. Good. And what time is it? Almost Walter time? Oh, it is Walter time. Whoops. I should have waited. Okay, that's not the boss yet. It's just a million zombies. All right, so I'm gonna do Walter time. We will, uh, we will, well, I wasn't being rude. I'm just saying she's, she's a hyperactive teenager and she's a bit neurotic and she's a little, got craziness. I mean, you saw her drive the bus, right? The one that she kept hitting the gas over and over when she should have not have been doing. Anyway, um, 
What was I saying? Oh, that guy. Yeah. Um, I got freaking distracted. I, I'm making fun of her for having a brain and look at me. Oh yeah. Okay. So Walter time. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah, you have a, a good day at work, Mizma. And then we'll come back, do this boss fight, and I think there's gonna be one final level or final boss or something. I don't know. But I think we're we're pretty close to the end actually. So we'll we'll wrap this up tonight when I get back. So I will see you in a bit. Fortunately, we have to use Walter Time standby screen. Guess we don't have to, but you know. Be back in a bit.
On the ground for you, just for you, water. Respect, respect the pillow. Why don't I hear any music? Uh oh, the music ran out. Also, I thought I had my mic muted this whole time. Well. You had <laughs> you heard me talking silly to Walter, but I can explain. I can explain, everybody. Uh, but yeah, we we're back. Sorry if you were sitting in silence and police sirens this whole time. We didn't hear anything except you shooing Walter. <laughs> Yeah, Walter takes some shoeing. Okay. Oh, it's because I had... I see. The No More Heroes 3 soundtrack ran out. And I didn't have it anything set up. That was my bad. Alright, anyways. Back to the game. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot what... What's going on here? We'll use a Nick. Nick token? Nick ticket? Oh god. We'll use it, whatever it is. Uh. Awesome. I love you, baby. I don't remember what this one. Oh, just the popper. Eh. 
Well, if you knock out a bunch of them, but I don't know if you can. Yeah, you know what? This is actually not bad. I was hoping for the one where he swings him around, but I don't remember what you're even supposed to land on for that. No, we're fine. Love is tearing me apart. Okay. That had to have been a pseudo input. Oh my god. Sorry, everyone. I'm... I am dumb. Sorry about that. We're, we're, there was like a million zombies on the screen, basically. I meant to type that- I meant to type more with that sentence, but I'm just gonna leave that as is. Yeah, she said, the love is tearing us apart. Which is a, a reference to a punk song called Let, Let the Love Tear Us Apart. Which Suda also, as he was counting down No More Heroes 3, every day he would tweet, like, 10 more days until the love tears us apart. Nine more days until the love tears us apart. So I'm thinking that was a Suda input. The love tear us apart. I found the cure for a broken heart. Let it tear us apart. Hold on to something. Why is our dad Elvis? Yeah. Oh my god, it's all out of sync now. What is this, Donkey Kong? No. It's one of them, uh. What do you call those? The pointless machines? God, I forgot the, I forgot the name of them. Rube Goldberg well, machines? Is that what they're called? Sure Rube Goldberg? From anything that gets in your way. Well, here I go. Good luck. But I think they literally called it themselves like a pointless machine you or something. You may not be the guy I'd pick for my daughter, but you're obviously the guy she'd pick for herself. And she's always been a hell of a lot smarter Rube Goldberg. There we go. Uh, thanks. I remember because Yotam Perel did a, a Rube Goldberg machine animation as a joke. I'm drooling. You must really like lollipops if they make you drool that easily. I mean, they're just lollipops. Lollipops can be good, I guess, but I mean, are they really that amazing? Let's see. Ooh, I could get the power dumbbells and become the ultimate strength Juliet. Could almost afford the final chainsaw power attack, so I could save up for that too. And then there's also the holy chainsaw, which must be in incredibly powerful. That's the most expensive one by far. Oh, it says the most powerful chainsaw attack. And then this one shreds groups of zombies to um shreds. Damn, I kind of want to save up for one of those. What should I get? Ah, uh, screw it. We'll hold off. We will be frugal for now, so it may pay off later. Look at that URL, XXX star heart, X star, XX, lollipop, lollipop, XXXX. Um, the menu's frozen, that's why I haven't exited it, by the way. So as soon as it unfreezes, we will be good to go. I'll be able to hit the circle. I'll be able to hit the circular button. Then we can boom zap get out of there. Continue the game. Any second. I my voice just cracked, but like in a deep tone. What the hell was that? That was weird. 
Usually it like click, click. cracks higher octave. Walter, why don't you chill out, buddy? Look at that little animation. Do 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 Whoa! I was like tilting in my chair and it tilted more than I expected it to. But everything's fine. Everything's fine, I swear. Man, this is a this is a big old load, a big old load of loading. What the heck is it loading? I wonder. The most powerful part of the game. This isn't even like an emulator booting up thing either. This is just the loading screen. Because if there was emulation stuff going on, then it would be saying like loading shader, loading shader. No, this is apparently just okay. Let's see what all that was all about. Coliseum. This is incredible. Juliet, you actually made it. Wait a minute. Fantastic. Isn't that just the first you, guy? How could you do this? To our school. To the people we love. Oh no, this is the guy who summoned all the bad guys, right. Juliet! <laughs> Ghost Rider? What? Oh, oh, Juliet. What does that mean? I've been getting so lonely since you've been wasting all my dark purveyors. What? Paul Lewis here is the only one left. Why do you sound and like that? To be none. Ah, cocky little whore. I like that. Bring it on, douchebag. I'm gonna F you up. I love your passion, babe. Looks like we can make this guy's like a punk rocker. Together. It's hard to tell because he looks like a 50s style guy, but then his guitar was like like kind of a heavy metal. This says Elvis rocks. So I guess he is supposed to be like a. I've got a feeling when I start playing, you're just gonna go. Okay. Rock and roller zombie. Chuck Berry. And, okay. So yeah, like 50s. It was just surprisingly heavy for being a 50s dude. Hey, see, we just keep locking on automatically now, which is nice. You know what's worse than this? Nothing. You know what's worse than this? Nothing. That's funny. You know what's worse than this? Nothing. Okay, well, say it again. It's not as funny, Nick. Don't you know how comedy works? Dude, we're wrecking this guy. His first phase, anyways. Bike got shredded. Is it our chance to finish him or is it chance for phase two? Oh great, now we can fly. Now we gonna fly. You ready? Now let's go to the depths of hell! His voice sounds familiar too, actually. Is he connecting to his butt okay, alright. Okay. I'm only a QTE master when I know what the buttons are. <laughs> oh. Ow. Wow, he got stuck in the thing even though he hit me. That kind of worked out for me. Ouch. Please. I didn't mean it. Please. Give me a break. Oh. They're running to this. It'll be fine, I swear. Stop knocking stuff down. Ow! Don't shoot me from afar. Yeah, I don't want to waste all my 
Oh god. Look at the way I'm running right now. I'm like moonwalking. Look at that. Oh, it's because we're always locked onto him. Yep, legit, you can just moonwalk. That's funny. She doesn't have like a backwards walking animation in this instance. Oh god. But sometimes I mess up these QTs too anyways because the inputs are weird. Not the inputs are weird, it's just the game is very stuttery. Look at happens, okay? I'm gonna need a lollipop. Because they're good for you. Hey, I actually avoided damage there. Ow. Bro went full Heisenberg. Ow. Look at this dude, he's showing off like he's ice skating. The fact the machine that big can do ice skating esque movements is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Come on, get these hits in. One more. Oh! He should be about finished. You just need to finish him. Oh, um, there we go. Oh, you got more health suddenly? What happened there? You can't call it finish if it ain't a finish. One side, now we're doing the other side. Ooh, there we go. This is the essence of elephant rock. Elephant rock, eh? I don't know if I'm familiar with that genre. Wow, he Black Knight, that's a good one. How come they didn't have that in the subtitles? Get it? It's from that obscure movie, The Holy Grail. Wow, I actually knocked him back from that? Sweet. I didn't expect that to work, but I'm glad it did. Surprise that works. Alright, is this gonna be the final countdown? Da 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 da. Yada da da da. Yada da da Yada da 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 da. Elephant, the elephant. Elephant, the elephant, watch him go. Anyone else remember that? He's elephant, the elephant. He shoots butterflies into the sky for some reason. I don't know why an elephant's doing that, but it sure is. Oh, I thought I got hit there. Hell yeah. Okay, one more has got to do it. You are done, son! Oh my god, he's not done! This dude has so many damn forms! <laughs> oh my god, a punked reference. Does anyone remember that show? I feel like that would have been dated by the time this game came out. But maybe that was kind of part of the joke. I don't know. He just keeps on 
You want to hear even older? D does anyone remember the Jamie Kennedy experiment? The Jamie... Does anyone remember Jamie Kennedy? But yeah, the Jamie Kennedy experiment was basically punked before punked. Except it was the actor, comedian Jamie Kennedy playing pranks on people. Except he would generally play pranks on actual people, not like so other celebrities. But he would actually dress up in prosthetics as different people and be part of the prank himself. I'm gonna heal just in case, because I'd rather not have to restart this boss fight. You're almost done, son. Just give in. Give in. Give in, my dude. Oh my god, so many mines. Did we say about elephants? Elephant, the elephant, watch them go. I'm glad they slaughtered the elephant. Rock and roll isn't here anymore. The trophy. You can't say that. That's not how the saying goes. Robot? Okay. Somehow that explosion was made even better with the, the struggling. Your turn, you whiny MySpace haired jerk! MySpace haired. <laughs> Fantastic work, Juliet. You've done everything just as I hoped you would. Start of course we did. Thanks for your cooperation. Now the real deal is fulfilled. <laughs> Dude, you sound like such a dweeb. What? what are you talking about? You incredibly hot idiot. I told you. Okay. For the gates of hell to open, a ritual must be enacted. And you were part of it all along. I set this whole thing up, you fools! <laughs> and we definitely won't be able to kill you or anything. Now, the ceremony has been completed! A pawn, you, had to sacrifice five pre-selected zombies, and they must utter the sacred words at the point of their deaths. Meus vita reggae pro nefario coenta. Uh-huh. Yes, they all said that. That's true, I recall. Oh, it was making a big old pentagram. Why? Why are you doing all of this? Because you're just like everyone else. You pretended to be different, yes, but you're Juliet. not you. What? Bitch. Did the audio just catch up suddenly? Oh, okay. Sure. I guess that's part of the ritual. <laughs> this is the end. The real end to everything. This school, this world deserves to be destroyed. It rejected me. Look, guys. Look, me. dude. So I know it's not nice to be bullied. And I'm All sure right. you... Went through a lot of stuff, but this isn't the answer, my friend. Rot. 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 You can't be jealous just because they have so a nice relationship. You. Your eternal screams of horror will be my pop music. I, I guess the music choice, if we had been hearing the music, which we haven't, unfortunately might be actually significant to the plot of the game. All the different bosses were music genres, and her music was like really like poppy. Like, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. And like, so on and so forth. Um. Okay. Okay. Zombie of Zombies Killabilly. Like, Rockabilly. Giant Zombie Elvis. Zombie of zombies, Killabilly. Yesterday, and I, toe, I was like, 
He looks kind of like Blue Suede Goo from Clay Fighter, who's a parody of Elvis, because he has like such a long, pulled out hair. Like the pompadour, or whatever you'd call it. Excellent. Awesome. Cool. Getting Marilyn Manson vibes. Yeah. True. All right, there it is. I don't know if it's just going to be a boss or if it's a level or what, but uh, probably a boss. It just says kill a Billy. Does he have legs? WTF, start this stage? I like that. He just, he just said, said, rest in peace, Juliet. Maybe he's <laughs> exactly. Up, Nick. His voice is all ghosty and creepy and weird. It's a sure sign he's dead. Like, that, this is good dialogue. I like that. I'm contacting you from the land beyond words. What's I'll it called? I'll the best I can. But the reception here is terrible. So listen carefully. Yes, I've heard worse say. reception. Okay. Really, Nick? The fate of our whole town is in the balance and you're going to take the time to mock me? I didn't. I just heard you. You're right there. It was the wind or something. Please, both of you. Juliet, you must first get close to Kira Biddy. But the Oh, so there is a bit of a level, I guess. Shall we say oh, he's not that far. Cranky. Why high school kids always summoning Satan? I don't know. Juliet, watch out! Okay. I think you can I think you can use the cars to make a path. Okay, I'll try. Alright. We're making a bridge. It's weird that the main final boss is looks like Elvis, but oh then God, the dad dream. character also looked like Elvis. What are they trying to say? Um, do I have to fight these guys? Not. This is interesting. This is not like a normal level. It's uh. Oh, the cars. Maybe we need to be up closer. There we go. This doesn't seem safe. Nah, it's fine. Did we miss that car? Oh, we have to kill these zombies. Oh, but the car has helped a lot. Did you see that? Damn. It killed so many freaking zombies right there. There's just one more. Where is he? There he is. Okay, now we can do the cars. And it's always triangle, so that's simple enough. Mordecai and Rigby. Whoops! I didn't realize a, a third car had just come immediately. Only people allowed to summon Satan to do rituals are the dudes from a regular show. Oh. Uh, okay. Hey, another ramp pre-built. Perfect. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Oh my God, that's reminding me of Little Nightmares too. The way the buildings were like curving in. Oh, okay, we are on a timer suddenly. Barely made it, Jesus. A little detour. Nick, it's me again. See that path over there. It's respectful of the sensei to include Nick on the conversation. Said Juliet and Nick. Oh, 
very special combo number five. We are trying ecstasy in your head. My head is not part of the menu, sir. I need ammo. I shouldn't have wasted it on these guys, probably. So they never taught you how to fight one of these killability things? Zombies. Mm. Zombies. Mmm. Sasquatches. Sure, tons. Sasquatches are dicks. Really? I I didn't even know it existed. Got him. Got him. Can't believe you killed Sasquatches. Awesome. I always heard they were gentle creatures. I mean, when have you ever heard of someone getting killed by a Sasquatch? That just don't happen. All right, let's see if we can afford a good one. Oh, we can't. Damn, I thought we would have had more medals by now. I was hoping we'd be able to get Final Chainsaw Attack, Power Attack, or the Holy Chainsaw, but I don't know if there's going to be another store, so it might be a waste to not get something. Mm. Click, click. I don't know. Might be better to just like get power or something. Rodent Chamein. Why? I'll just get what power. Should I Screw it. Let's go. We have enough moves that work fine. Okay, that's nice of you to say, I guess. I mean, I love cheeseburgers too, so I guess. Oh, good. That's Zombies that shoot laser beams out of their eyes. Yeah, I felt like something was missing. I'll try to use something as a shield and get closer. Well, what else have you killed? Leprechauns. I killed a whole tribe of Frankenberries once. A tribe of Frankenberries? Total propaganda to get you to trust them. Oh, I'm about to die. What the hell? I need more debris to hide behind. Now what? Help a lot. Oh, lollipop. Um, do I need you to blow that up for me? Oh, we have to kill zombies. Well, our power is increased, so that's good. Certainly one way to do a final boss, yeah. You see him looming in the background. This is the original Bowser's Fury, if you think about it. He's just always back there. He attacks you once in a while. There we go. Wait. Shit, another fucking building. I don't know if I I haven't gotten this far in my training. It's gonna be okay, just Oh, another store. Doing what you've been doing. So I guess I didn't need to... I wasn't at the last store there. Let's see. This might be the last store. Well, don't have much anyways, but we can... I don't need lollipops, but we could get another Nick ticket. A Nicket. Could be the quick way to say it. Oh my god, look at that cheeseburger. Sushi. I mean, well, the comically, like, overly huge cheeseburgers are, like, kind of annoying because there's no way you can properly eat that. You'd have to get, like, bits and pieces of it so it's never actually going to be that good. But the concept of it's nice. I mean, if somehow you could take a bite out of it.
I wish the that this menu screen was not phrasing anymore. That'd be really neat. No, Jay Nicket is a Pokemon. Oh, I see. Which did I get? I found something. Nick ticket. And another Nick ticket. Why not? Can't afford anything else, really. Okay. Those can be pretty good sometimes. There we go. I think we made it to the boss. Yeah, I was figuring, like, whatever the level was, if there was one before the boss would be kind of short, based on how much time was left on this full playthrough video that I was I was checking to see how far I was in the game. And for someone who isn't playing on a half-working emulator that you have to reboot sometimes, it, it had about two hours left, so... Here we are. Thank you! Wow, you knew my birthday? Should I press something? Okay. Now what? Oh, so when I press left, it makes him move me left. When I press right, it makes him move me right. Okay. I don't... Do I wait? There's a okay. That doesn't do anything. The blast is ham, but that's not actually damage. Oh, well, Nick just straight up said it. He's like, you just have to think, and then finally, just shouts the answer out. I didn't think about it because he's wearing sunglasses, so you'd think his eyes are protected. Well, there we go. Can we shoot your hand now? Really? <laughs> yeah, peek, dummy. Works for me. Ow. Oh, those things don't do much damage. What do you mean? His health bar is almost down. Ow. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I probably need to kill like another enemy. Damn it! We had one more shot. Wait, wait, triangle. Damn it. I would, Nick, but I am out of. Wait, these guys gotta give me ammo, right? No? There we go. Please, no. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Eat someone holding a chainsaw. That's a great idea. <laughs> Just a still image. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm cutting his fingers off. Oof. Giant zombies always gonna have. Oh, never mind. He grows them back. Oh, this is gonna have trouble playing guitar now. And now your tongue. You really want to stick your giant tongue out to someone who's chopping things with a chainsaw? You may want to think about- Oh my god, look what he's doing. He's windmilling. Do I need to like... Shoot him? Oh, okay, here he comes. Why did they make him grow his fingers back? You think that would be like an indication of, like, okay, time to move over to the next hand, but if they just grow back, then I guess you don't gotta worry about that. This is like a boss in Elder Scrolls, 
who's a giant skeleton who 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 tans you fight. Oh really? There's definitely been uh, games I played as well where you fight a giant enemy and you basically just hit their hands. Should we hit the right hand just for some symmetry? Never mind. Family? Here to help? Nope. That is not family here to help at all. Oh, okay. That was just a... Okay, just keep licking, buddy. That's helping. Oh, you, you almost got me. Oh, wait. He's actually... He actually got me that time. Okay. You got me for a second. I hope you're proud of yourself. He's almost done. Like, he's fin He's about to be finished. I just need to get his hands, like, one more time, maybe? Finish. How do we finish? Come on. Let's try to wait till he comes back. Oh god, don't don't do this. Ugh. Please. Come on, he's almost dead. Alright. We're gonna run up your arm or something? Please. This must be it. R2? That's new. Okay. Fingered. Bronze trophy. Did you see the way that dude's head back there splattered all over everything? If I had put you in a mailbox, you would have missed that. True. She's got a point, Nick. It was pretty cool. He's shown his true form. And it is ugly! Were those delayed? Juliet, can you hear I can just attach to the chainsaw. Listen carefully as our connection is tenuous. You must do as I say. Okay. You're making good progress. A path will open for you if you move ahead. His mouth and into oh, his so body. we do have to go inside. Oh, I'm pretty good at keeping guys out of my body. Never tried getting inside of someone else's. Now we're playing Shadow of the Colossus. So dead. <gasps> no. Dad! He can't do this. Elvis v Elvis. We're playing God of War three. Oh! Did you have to do that? You could have jumped off. Damn! He blasted his freaking face open. The music. I did not expect this song to start playing. I, I can't. We went from Hey Mickey, you're so fine to this. Juliet, to, to near listen, ending you have to go now. Z, Z. Your dad did what he did because he trusted you. Show him he was right to believe in you. Damn, Nick, that's very supportive. Okay, Nick. Let's get this over with. Please don't tell me this is a level. Well then. I like that that song played. Because like once in a while you hear some generic music. 
Okay, we should be back now. Sorry about that. So this has happened to me a few times while playing this, or at least a couple times, where I'm just playing, and then suddenly both of my monitors go black, and when the monitors come back on, it says that RCPS3 has crashed, and then OBS suddenly is not like feeding stream anymore, and I have to close OBS and reopen it. I don't know what causes that. I don't know what the heck's going on there, but it just happened right now. And I don't know where the, the, the checkpoint was. So we might have to do the start of that boss fight again, but I'm pretty sure we at least won't have to do the leading up to that boss. Because I know, I'm pretty sure the stores at least are checkpoints. But damn, what a moment for that to happen. I didn't want to say it to jinx it this whole time, but I'm surprised that the audio was working that entire time. So maybe that was our trade-off. Yeah, Double O said when the Dragon Ball fighters had to enter inside Boo to free their friends vibes. I remember that. I remember Dragon Ball Z. This game takes forever to. This game takes forever to boot. Oh, you know what? I'll play music while we're waiting. Why not? Might as well have something you guys can hear besides me. This is the opening to No More Heroes, the first. Jay, have you ever had them sweet bean dumplings? Seen them on Dragon Ball? Yeah, I think I did have some kind of sweet bean dessert one when I went to Japan. One of them, it was like shaped like a fish, but it was like a sweet bean pastry. It wasn't a dumpling though, it was a pastry, I guess, I don't know. Uh, it was pretty good. I think that's what that was. As a Mexican, didn't see beans being a dessert. Yeah. I mean, as Mexicans, we have the arroz con leche, right? Which is a, a rice dessert. So there's like one thing because you generally wouldn't think of rice being a dessert. Yeah, the fish paste here is really good and they, they, they make it fresh. It's actually so hot you have to wait a little bit for it to cool. You don't want to just like bite right into it. It's dangerous. It is ill-advised. You don't want to bite straight into the hot fish pastry. It's funny because it's not fish flavored, it's just shaped like a fish. Apparently Cookie Clicker has really had an update or two since the last time I remember playing it, like the first day it came out. Um, Cause Ducky like posted like a whole skill tree for <laughs> Cookie Clicker. Oh, alright, let's put it up. Pause that. Uh, you're right, also horchata rice water. Oh yeah, that's true. Fact said, oh yeah, cookie clicker's wild. Fun fact, me and a friend, like right, right after cookie clicker came out, I think. We might have did it like the day after it came out. Is that the thing I'm thinking of? We did a game called Pizza Pusher on Newgrounds. He did most of the work because he knows how to program and draw and stuff. I just kind of gave him ideas. 
and I guess I was credit as writer. I think I like wrote the descriptions and stuff. But yeah, we, we did Pizza Pusher. And it's literally Cookie Clicker, except you're making pizza instead. And it's much shorter because it's just a, a flash game <laughs> that we did. Yada da 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 yada da ze yada da 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 yada da ze. Oh, look at that! This is perfect. The checkpoint actually saved. That is excellent. I thought I was gonna have to fight the boss again from the start. Really, I wouldn't have guessed. Do not be careful. Why oh would he tell God, me that? Dad, I really hope this was worth it. What even is Yada Daze? I don't know. Don't pay much mind to what I randomly hum and sing. It's completely... There's nothing to it. It's just my brain being an ad hid. Damn it, I think that killed me because the it froze. <laughs> Oh, we only took damage. It's still kind of annoying, though. Yeah, we can punch him down, too. Oh, no, please. Okay. Thought there was going to be another one while it was all frozen. Are you there? Sensei? Is that the- oh, yep, there's the dude's body. This is your final lesson. Killer Billy is a mountain of tainted flesh, held together by evil spirits. Sounds about right. And the core is the dude who summoned him. Once the body is destroyed, all the captured souls will be sent back to Alright, sounds good to me. Take control of his core and make him destroy. How? Why did they? Oh, Nick. Nick. A what? Wait, what? Throughout this battle, you must connect Nick's head to Swamp. Oh, we have to sacrifice a Nick what too. What happened to Nick? I am. Damn, that's brutal. But it, it works with the mechanic of how he works, so that's actually kind of cool. I did not connect that dude cutting his head off to later us putting Nick on his body. Fact said it took me longer than I care to admit to realize what you made but meant by an ad hid. I don't think I could blame you for that. That's me being a, a goofball. Just pronouncing things silly. Oh along, Juliet. This music. There's a reason I'm here. There's a plan greater than all of us. But it's time to say goodbye. Put me there and make the bomb. What? You need to put me on Swan's body. It's the only way to stop him. Nick, no! He said you'll die! I feel like we're gonna have to like fight a Nick yeah, boss okay. when he puts his head I on the body. For the first time in my life. I feel lucky to have been on this journey with you and your family. Hey, welcome, Brekaran. Thank you for joining us for the the finale. I can't, Nick. I don't want to be without you. I know, baby. But sometimes there are more important things than what we want in life. <laughs> Damn, she just lost her dad, Elvis' dad even. And now she has to sacrifice her her BF. Her, her genuinely pretty good BF. At least he gets a helmet. Aww. Damn, didn't expect this. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. More than anything. No! Wait, she's still in there. Okay, well. I wonder if Juliet kind of maybe like destroyed the core with her chainsaw. She's destroyed a lot of things with her chainsaw. I guess this works too. Always on the phone, Trophy. She'll be fine. Wow! 
Wow, C rank. Well, now what? Nick. Nick. Is he in the the world beyond words? But he's still ahead. Oh, the audio's gone. Mad Feast has come to an end. You have truly been a hero. The glorious ones have chosen to bless you with the reward. But unfortunately, in the shuffling of this death and that death, this body and that, there was a small mix-up. He's a satellite? A mix-up. I will be watching you from above, so please. I'll play some music for us. In my memory. That's not good. Oh, we're wearing those little white... Oh, what the heck? God damn it, I look back at the game and they're talking about panties. How dare they do this to me? Trying to make me say stuff. Okay, we'll play a song that matches the tone. Uh, Juliet. Wait, whose body does he have? Oh! Oh! Well... <laughs> um... Oh, he got the sensei's body! Oh no... I mean... I guess that's better than nothing. As long as they don't mind it, I guess. Face suckers up here. Oh, the dad's okay. Think I lost a te 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 oh testy in the blast. God damn it. Looking great, sir. This one's We best hurry. Your mom is gonna be worried. Daddy, don't you think you should go to the hospital? Not necessary. Use a staple gun up there to put the old scrope back together again. I'm a new man. That's completely horrifying. You know what? This really has been the best birthday ever. Has it? I came, I saw, I kicked its ass. Nice. Tiny Nick. <laughs> yeah. At first I was like, was he like reverted to like... No, he's like, he got the sensei's body. So that means he's not going to grow at all. It actually would have been better, probably. Yeah, the timing. It worked perfectly. And then this even kind of sounds like it could be credit music. All right, little Jimmy Urine. All right, well, that was Lollipop Chainsaw. So... I kind of figured it wasn't going to be one of my favorite like grasshopper games just from what I had seen of it before but you know what it wasn't bad it was it was fun the like the the story and the writing and the and the bosses and stuff were actually more interesting than I I thought it was going to be uh, like I like how all the bosses were different music genres you had like Viking metal, and you had like the psychedelic, like hippie style, and all that stuff. The final boss is a freaking zombie Elvis. Giant zombie Elvis. And I think, yeah, definitely like, the gameplay isn't like the smoothest, but it does get better like the more things you unlock. It's too bad we didn't unlock like any of the super things, but... I guess it lets you just keep playing whatever levels you want. You could probably keep unlocking stuff if you really want to. I'm just surprised the audio lasted as long as it did, seeing as how it was going before. We got to hear, like, everyone's voices, pretty much. But yeah, cool stuff. I mean, comparing, it's funny, like, playing this and No More Heroes 3, like, back to back, because No More Heroes 3, man. Man, let me tell you, no more Euros three. I gotta, I gotta start writing that script. Uh, Mike actually invited me to a barbecue tomorrow, 
So I probably won't be streaming the uh, tomorrow. Probably not, but the day after I will most likely be doing, um, oh my god, it like sped up there. I will probably be doing the Patreon poll winner. What's winning right now? Let's see. I'm curious. Let's see. Hello, Ethan Winters. Did you know that I have a YouTube channel? And if you subscribe to the $5 tier, Ethan Winters, then you can suggest a game for me to play. I don't know why I started talking like that. Alright, let's see. Devil May Cry is in quite a lead. It has nine points. Uh, tied for second, Hotline Miami 2 and Mech Extermination Force both, both have four points. So, hey, if anyone is hasn't voted yet, you know, it's in the Discord. Everyone's free to vote. You don't have to be a patron. Those are just the people who get to make those special stream suggestions. Oh, sorry, it's Hot Linea Miami 2 because I made a, a horrible typo. I think that's the first time I made a typo in a in one of the stream polls. What about the other option, Jay? What about the other thing people are voting for? Oh, are you referring to the oysters? Well, we have a few extra options here. These aren't sanctioned, by the way, but apparently people think that it's that it, that it, that they could just do whatever they want in my Discord. Uh, but there is an option for oysters, which isn't really clear what that means. I think Sword wants me to like eat a ridiculous amount of oysters on stream. And then there's a little blushy face. And then we have a Travis Moe face. I don't know what those mean, personally, but yeah. Jeremy Bento. Bento. I wish Bento boxes were like a regular thing here. Sometimes you just want some good old, good old bento. Dude, the 7-Elevens, well, the convenience stores in, in general in, in Japan were godly. They had the best freaking convenience store food. Like, you go in there, like, the, and it's really, like, people go in there and they get it for, like, breakfast, lunch. Oysters are moe, are they? Are they really thick? I kind of wish, like, knowing what the game was in retrospect, it kind of worked out okay. But I kind of thought that we were going to play as different characters because that's what you do in Omer Heroes 2, I guess. So I really did think we were going to play as Shinobu. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. She's also, like, just not really in it a whole lot but it seems like it's probably because Suda just wanted to put so much into the game that he could only like touch on so many characters like he didn't need to do it but you know he put in like Notorious for instance like Notorious didn't have to be in there nor did a uh, native dancer but it's like Suda clearly had these ideas for these characters and he really wanted to use them and he's like, well, this might be the last No More Heroes game. So I better put him in there. And like, who is the mysterious dude that Damon got the device from? Oh, You Spin Me Right Round was in this game? I love that song. That's like, people say like guilty pleasure songs. Like, I guess that could be mine, but it's like, oh, they literally credited Ash from Evil Dead as well. Um, I, I love you spin me right round. Like, unironically, it's not even like as a joke. I just like that song a lot. The bass goes in heavy on that. And I... 
I get to know your name And I Wanna be your now, baby All I know is that's me You look like you're lots of fun Open up your life because watch out Here I come So Sensei is really the only Like, friend character that died in this game You can see him up there waving Like a part for Jojo opening or something Do you think Damon was contracting the guy to kill Travis or to kill Fu? Um, well, by the end of it, yeah, like, did he plan on that? That's a good question. I mean, I guess the reveal is that he was contracting the guy to kill Fu. And then for some reason, he figured he'd be able to take care of Travis after the fact. I felt kind of bad for Fu. Oh, we never saw the mom, did we? Mom, your lover boy's back. Everyone, where were you? You were supposed to be home hours ago. Uh-oh. Don't make mama mad. Mom, I have someone I want you to meet. Mrs. Starling, hi, I'm Nick. Oh, you're Juliet's friend. Mom, what's wrong? Uh-oh. What's wrong? J Juliet. What happened? Come on in, everyone. Time for dinner. Holy mother, oh. The mom's a zombo? And by dinner, I mean you. Okay, the controller just vibrated really heavily on the desk, sorry. That's a silly ending, but the game's silly, so I guess that fits. Congratulations, you beat the game. Special items, new messages on your telephone. Thank you. Very hard difficulty. I wonder what the picture looks like for that. Wait, is there like a good ending and bad ending to this? Could that be what that was? I want to check real quick. It could just be a silly cliffhanger, but I have a feeling for some reason. I'm not going to like play it right now, but I'm just curious. There, I swear to, yep, good ending. Maybe I like saw it in a recommendation or something. I wonder what you have to do to get that. Oh, if you don't... Wait, sorry. Okay, you have to save every single student, apparently, to get the good ending. So we can watch it right now. We can just watch the YouTube video. Let me just set it up for you. Let me set it up for all my pails. Boom. Yeah, for some reason I just, I must have seen like a recommendation and subconsciously I stored that in my head. Mom, I'm home. Mama, your lover boy is We back. can hear them talking now too. Everyone, where were you? You were supposed to be home hours ago. Mom? She sounds so I normal compared to the rest Mrs. of them. Starling, hi, I'm Nick. Oh, you're Juliet's friend. Mom? What's wrong? Ju Juliet? Uh-oh. Would you like to watch the happy ending? You could pick no. They give you the option. <laughs> Will you kids just hold on two seconds? I'm trying to get Juliet's birthday cake ready. Happy birthday. Oh, mom. <laughs> oh, Juliet. I almost forgot. <gasps> wow. Oh, lollipops. Thin. Well, that's a much nicer ending. Cool. Yeah, they call it the happy ending. Of course. Yeah, for the food thing, I think Damon was, but I don't know why he thought he could just take Travis after the fact. He was probably too cocky. I, I, I feel kind of bad for Fu, like, at the end when he, like, reverts back to, like, baby mode, and he's like, Bye, I love you, Damon, goodbye. 
think my grandma's calling again. Well, that's it for today. I probably won't stream tomorrow because barbecue. So I'll probably do the patron poll the next day, which is what, Friday? So thank you everyone for joining. I'm glad we, we played this and finished it. Another Suda game under my belt. Maybe we'll do Flower, Sun, and Rain someday. All right. Catch you all later, everyone.